It is no secret that Eric Ten Hag has been a long-time admirer of Frankie de Jong, having worked with the midfielder during his spell at Ajax. Upon his arrival at Manchester United in 2022, the Dutch manager made his former star a priority as they spent the summer chasing his signature. It seemed as likely a transfer as any, de Jong linking back up with the man who had helped him rise to prominence. Barcelona also had to offload players as they struggled with their finances, and it seemed the Dutch midfielder was their most profitable asset. Despite their attempts, the former Ajax man decided he would stay in Spain, leading Manchester United to sign Brazilian midfielder Casemiro. Despite his future at the club being uncertain, one thing that has reportedly remained unchanged is Ten Hag's interest in his former player. It would appear that the Dutchman is heading for the exit door as new own Jim Ratcliffe rings in the changes at Old Trafford. But he has recently been linked with the job at Bayern Munich as the German club seek a new manager following their failure to claim silverware this season. And according to Mundo Deportivo, no matter where Ten Hag ends up next season, he will once again make de Jong his number one priority. Speaking ahead of their Europa League tie back in 2023, Ten Hag said, Frankie is an incredible player, and for every club in the whole world, he will strengthen the squad because he has a unique quality. If you can get him in the squad, your team will be stronger. In Spain, he became even better. He's a fantastic player, plays out from the back, he always has time, and it was a pleasure to work with him. And speaking to Gary Neville for Sky Sports recently, the Dutchman confirmed his midfield plans had he acquired his number one target. It would have been Frankie de Jong and Casemiro. They would really be connected with each other. They would be really complementary to each other. That's a typical player. If you want to play the Ajax style, you need that type of player. And it would appear that the current Manchester United manager has received a boost in any future approach for de Jong. During their initial approach for him back in 2022, the two clubs managed to agree a fee of $55 million dollars with the main sticking block being his refusal to leave Spain. The Barcelona midfielder, though, no longer appears to be as committed to the Catalan club. It has been reported that Barcelona offered their star midfielder a new deal, one he has yet to sign or respond to. There are growing fears within the club that with his current deal set to expire in 2026, de Jong may be eyeing a cut-price move away. It has even been suggested that the 26-year-old is willing to run down his contract in order to secure a free transfer away when it does expire. Again and again. Paul Merson has made a surprise suggestion regarding who should replace Eric Ten Hag as Manchester United manager. Ten Hag's future at United is more precarious with every passing week. With the club's 4-0 defeat at Crystal Palace on Monday, the latest in a series of disappointments this term. There has been much speculation in recent weeks claiming United co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been considering replacing the Dutchman with Gareth Southgate or Thomas Tuchel. However, former Arsenal midfielder Merson has insisted that United should try to lure Real Madrid boss Carlo Ancelotti to Old Trafford, claiming that the Italian should take charge of the club for a year to sort it out. Speaking on Sky Sports, Merson boldly claimed, I said a couple of weeks ago, I think they need Ancelotti. I know Ancelotti has got another year left at Real Madrid, but they could go on and win the Champions League. I know it's not a step forward, but you bring him in for a year. You've got Sir Jim Ratcliffe upstairs. You get him in there for a year and he comes and he goes, You know what? At the end of the season, keep him, keep him, get rid of him, he's a bad egg, get rid of him. This bloke has worked with the best in the world. You watch this Real Madrid team, they've got superstars and they run around. That's because of the manager. So you need someone to come in just to sort it out because at the moment it's just going to keep going on. Man United are a million miles off and they will be again next year and the year after. They're not one of two signings away. They're a long, 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 long way away. Ancelotti has won the Champions League on four occasions with AC Milan and Real. Indeed, he is set to take charge of Real in the final of Europe's premier competition once more at Wembley against Borussia Dortmund on June 1st, again. 
The Man United midfielder was handed his debut in the senior side by former Chelsea and Real Madrid boss Mourinho. Scott McTominay has reiterated the influence his hero, Jose Mourinho, has had on his career at Manchester United. McTominay emerged from the United Academy during Mourinho's spell in charge of United and was often preferred by the former manager to other, more high-profile names in midfield. The Scot has revealed why his family always had respect for the Portuguese, for giving McTominay his start as a professional, as well as explaining how the veteran manager advised him on the training ground. There's a picture in my grandparents' house of me making my debut in the Champions League, standing beside Jose Mourinho, McTominay told 442. They loved him because he gave me that moment. He gave me that initial opportunity, so he will always be a hero of mine. I'll be forever grateful for everything that he did for me. McTominay then recounted a behind-the-scenes tale from his early days at United under Mourinho, when the Portuguese had to discipline for not showing enough respect to senior players. The Scot added, I remember that when I first started training with the first team, I got into an argument with a couple of the senior players over the way a small-sided game was going. Ashley Young was one of them, and trust me, he can handle himself. I was only 17 or 18 at the time, but I wasn't happy that our team was losing, and maybe I went too far. Jose pulled me aside and said, you can't speak to the senior professionals like that. He told me that they would respect me for standing up for myself and having that fire in the belly, but I had to get them on side first. I think he knew my reaction came from a good place, because I wanted to do well. It gave me a lot to think about. Looking back, maybe it was a test. He always took an interest, and he would talk about his experiences in Scotland in glowing terms, again and again. Good day, Reds. Welcome back again. Thomas Tuchel has made his feelings on Marcus Rashford clear as Man United prepare for a summer clear-out, potentially with a new manager. Manchester United are expected to host a summer clear-out in a bid to ruthlessly remove Deadwood and raise funds for transfer business amid financial restrictions. Marcus Rashford is among the majority of Eric Ten Hag's squad reportedly in the shop window, with the club willing to listen for suitable offers. A different coach than Ten Hag could very well oversee United's summer transfer activity amid severe uncertainty over the Dutchman's future. The club's disastrous campaign is claimed to have left part of the current dressing room resigned to the fact Sir Jim Ratcliffe's sweeping off-field changes will leak into the dugout. Gareth Southgate and Graham Potter have been strongly linked with the potential vacancy, but Thomas Tuchel's upcoming Bayern Munich exit has made him the red-hot favorite. Tuchel is believed to share a relationship with Ratcliffe already, and of the three leading candidates, boasts the strongest record as an elite club coach. Rashford's woeful season, filled with underperformance on the pitch and controversy off it, has left his future in doubt if there is concrete interest but Tuchel has already publicly expressed his admiration for the 26-year-old forward who haunted his Paris Saint-Germain team in the 2020-2021 season. In the Champions League group stage, Rashford scored a late winner to beat PSG 2-1 at the Parc des Princes and netted an equalizer as United lost the reverse fixture 3-1. In December 2020, Tuchel produced an outpouring of praise for the Red Devils' number 10 talents on the pitch, but also his character and personality away from football. He said, We value him very much when he plays in England and not at the Parc des Princes, honestly, because him scoring against us gets a little bit annoying. I have met him as an opponent three times, and every time I've met a calm and humble guy and a nice person, which is amazing. I like this mixture a lot. For me personally, the sporting side is clear. He's a big threat with his speed, with his ability to score, with his determination and his finishing. He's very precise, taking shots inside and outside of the box. He is super rapid on counterattacks and strong in the air with headers. He's had a big impact, and it's nice to see guys like him from the academy having such a big impact in a big, big club like United. Over three years have passed, 
and after enjoying a career-best 30-goal 2022-23 campaign, Rashford's stock is at an all-time low. But Tuckle would surely be keen to work with him. His arrival could spark a renaissance, just as Ten Hag's did in 2022, following a dismal period under Ralph Rangnick.